has been honoring honors due, I feel um, I need to give uh, God the glory uh, when he leads, uh, you know. Uh, so also for uh, many, uh, including pastor and many of the saints in this congregation uh, in the past year, I'm so grateful. So I have to stand here to say thank you. When I look back, uh, uh, I see the Lord working in, in my life. It's so humbled that uh, uh, I see how the Lord uh, uh, used all the people, uh, his body to bless me. And uh, um, so for him, his work. Um, when we start a long journey, we look for some road sign on the road, such as uh, uh, stay on the lane, uh, turn right or left, and then we know uh, we are on the right path. And the, the same with our spiritual walk. Uh, as uh, most of you know, the Lord called me to establish a house of prayer in Houghton on the site of the piece of land that he gave me on Sharon Avenue. The land purchasing was in response to a dream and the price was given by the Holy Spirit and confirmed by the address number 400. So I call it the Miracle Land. Uh, this testimony I put in February on my Facebook uh, when I gave the, uh, the uh, Aglow Ladies. Uh, it was titled, His Banner Over Me is Love. Thanks, uh, Lisa and all the Aglow Ladies. Uh, so at the beginning of the year, I remember the Pastor Rini asked people to come up for prayer for the year ahead. Um, I went up and she prayed for me. And she told me, she said, I see you start running and running. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you, Pastor Rene, for, for being a voice for the Holy Spirit. It has been exactly as you said. <laughs> I still I haven't stopped yet. So, on January 30, I was invited to Copper Island Academy to give a talk about China and communism. Uh, in which I shared uh, the evils of communism. Uh, the teacher said the message was well received and uh, in February I uh, shared uh, a glow, his banner uh, over me is love. So in March, we had a Chinese food fundraising event for the House of Prayer. Here at Harvest Church, many of you uh, attended and gave contributions. And uh, here is a uh, what I posted on the page of Isaiah 30 House uh, um, Prayer International. So we had a very successful Chinese food fundraiser on Saturday, March 25. It was blessed by Pastor Rini and attended by many faithful saints. We raised a little over uh, 1,700. I think it was exactly seven. Uh, 1,714. <laughs> the number was given by the Holy Spirit ahead of time. One week before the event, I accidentally picked up 17 cents from abroad <laughs> in two clusters. Uh, when I shared with my prayer friend, she said, it is unusual to pick up that much changes uh, it must be a sign from the Holy Spirit. Because she said, uh, it maybe you can pick a 10 cents there, a quarter there, but uh, together in 70 cents, it's not uh, that uh, euro. So she said it's a, a sign from the Holy Spirit. And it is exactly as a, a sign. Yeah, so the next day, uh, a sister, that's Sarah, Stood at the church and testified a miracle that she received concerning the fundraiser. She only had about four dollars at the time, but she wanted to donate more, so she prayed to the Lord. A week later, she received a check miraculously from the government concerning an old easy, so she happily went to the fundraiser with a good donation. She added, I think the Lord answered my prayer quickly because I wasn't going to use it for myself, but for his kingdom work. So everyone was encouraged greatly. The other 
prophesied that the Holy Spirit gave me uh, was concerning two young men. One of them went to Asbury Revival, uh, and they were on fire for God and prayed to the Lord to have a house there in Houghton. And about a week later, they saw our food fundraiser a flyer for a house of prayer in Houghton. So they were very excited to come. Uh, to us, the organizer, it was even more excited to know that the Holy Spirit is orchestrating the whole event. And uh, we believe he will see to uh, its completion. Uh, thank you again, Pastor Rini, and all you, you who helped and contributed. The Lord will remember you, even if I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah. Uh, then the planting season started. I closed my own GNA garden center business, but I kept the operation uh, to the house of prayer, uh, which means all the profits goes to the house of prayer's building project. A big thank you to Sandy, uh, whom the Lord sent her to help the operation. Uh, with all the donations, fundraising, and plant sale, our building project fund has reached about 10% of its goal, uh, which according to, to uh, the UP engineer estimate is 500,000. Praise the Lord. So the UP engineer gave the estimation is a billion, a million <laughs> dollar. I said, uh, uh, we uh, just need the frame. I have uh, uh, brothers and sisters who want to help with the uh, inside work. And then he said, and then that's uh, 500,000 because of the price of building price tripled <laughs> after COVID. Yeah. So the spring and summer season, the Lord gave me enough grace that I kept most of the prayer sessions of Global Ministries, participated in Paint of the Border Ministry led by Pastor Rene and the host of the Women of the Lord Regional Leaders, Dana and Hannah. Um, so um, I just uh, want to, um, uh, you know, uh, support uh, the pastor's uh, uh, work, uh, running and running. So <laughs> um, the property exemption in July, uh, I, uh, I went and received the property tax and the land for the house of prayer, uh, the property tax was exempted, which is a um, sign from the Lord because uh, I applied uh, two years ago and they kept saying this and that and didn't, uh, uh, didn't grant uh, the exemption status. So I just gave up. <laughs> and then when I don't do anything, argue with them anything, and they just automatically give the exemption. <laughs> and, 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 and you know the property taxes in Houghton is not cheap. It's a, uh, one piece of the land is $2,000, so that's a big saving. Uh, and the more important, it's a sign from the Lord, you know, he's in this. Uh, then on September 10, my husband, Gary, and I were sitting in the house watching live Cornerstone Chapel, uh, Pastor Gary Hemrick preaching on Sunday. He was talking on uh, hearing God based on Acts 21, where Paul heard from the Holy Spirit to go to Jerusalem, but other disciples urged him not to go. So is there a conflict message from the Holy Spirit? His conclusion was no. Um, the message was the same, but given from different uh, angles. So Pastor Gary then proceeded to give examples of how God spoke to him. So in their church in the early days, that was 32 years ago, uh, there were only 18 families then. Um, now they have a bigger uh, thousands of people, but uh, they were meeting in middle school. They have to pack and unpack for church every week and the week for the custodian to open the door. So two to three years down the road, it bothered him so much that he began to ask the Lord to give him a church building. And the Lord spoke to him through the verse, Proverb 24, verse 27. 
Finish your outdoor work, get your fields ready. After that, build your house. Um, when I heard that, I almost jumped. I exclaimed, that's the verse I got from the Lord. <laughs> so in 2019, I said that the Lord wanted me to build a house prayer. It was this verse, Proverbs 24, 27, that confirmed it. Finish your outdoor work. Well, ever since I started my garden center on Hashem uh, Avenue, nobody knows outdoor work better than me <laughs> because I don't have a building. I and my helpers uh, worked uh, under the hot sun, cold wind, the rain and snow. So I know too well about outdoor work. So get your fields ready. What field but the vacant lot in Sherry Avenue? It is an empty field. So build your house. What house but the house of prayer? So that uh, uh, is the verse that produced the legal birth of the nonprofit organization, Isaiah 35 House of Prayer International, because I quickly registered officially and donated the land to it. So now Pastor Gary shared his takings on the verse to get the field ready. Field refers to people. Uh, Jesus taught us to pray for God to send the workers to harvest the fields. So uh, the Lord was saying that he, uh, which Pastor Gary, should pay attention to feed the flock and they, uh, faithfully minister to the people and uh, the Lord will take care of the rest. So that's exactly what the Pastor Gary did. And now the Cornerstone Chapel is a 110,000 square feet building with 2,020 seats sit on a 30-acre property in Lisburg, Virginia. So that's his testimony. That's a, uh, the words that he was preaching. Uh, so, <laughs> After, so back to me, that afternoon, I went to attend a 16-year-old girl's birthday. Uh, the dad was sitting next to me. He casually commented, Amber, you talk, uh, your talk about China and the communism went well. Uh, you should teach. Uh, and uh, he went on to say how easy to get a, a start as a sub-teacher. Uh, you just need the 60 college credit to pass the criminal background check and three references. Uh, my mind was racing. Uh, teaching, uh, that's definitely indoor, you know. Finish the outdoor work. <laughs> and uh, I had the experience in uh, teaching at college, but the grade school, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> But uh, the more I thought about it, the more I would draw into it. As if the Lord is challenging me. You prayed about the Lord was challenging me. And besides, your wages can help uh, the house of prayer building funds, which is a really big uh, plus. Yeah, so. so I said, Lord, as long as you are with me, I will not be afraid, I answered. Uh, so I quickly applied and uh, accepted on September 27 as a sub-teacher in the local schools. Thank you, Pastor Renee, as one of the reference. <laughs> so I started to sub in October. One thing I want to mention that when I was looking at who might put the sub, my friend Ida was available. <laughs> So I quickly chose hers. <laughs> so I figured that she could give me some tips, and she did. <laughs> and the Lord was so gracious to smooth my way because I was nervous. You know, when you start to have something new uh, and you never did, so it was, I was nervous. So thank you, Ida. <laughs> uh, the timing of this transition is perfect. Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish calendar, actually God calendar, uh, falls on September 15 to 17 this year. Many prophetic voices said this year is the year of an open door. So I just walked into a new door, praise the Lord. Yeah. I started stopping in early October. In about two months, I prayed for children directly and indirectly. 
I career walked around each school that I stopped. Uh, last and the saints uh, often say, God is on the throne, prayer changes things.